Emergency override 347 accepted. Lockdown disengaged. Emergency override 347 accepted. Lockdown disengaged. Which way out, Ada? The main route is blocked, but the schematics show an access hatch at the end of the plasma beam tube. Can you squeeze yourself down there? Who pulls me out if I get stuck? Not me. The Bon and Isaac can draw straws.
Biological specimen containment breach. So this is where the spiders are coming from. It's a breeding farm. Biological experiments. The little ones walk through the beam and suddenly they're huge. And somehow they got out. Not only that, but this beam has been split. It's only a fraction of the original's power. If one of these creatures makes its way to the source, there's no telling what might happen to it. But that's where the artifact is. So that's where I gotta go.
artifact is in the beam. You've got to shut it down. The controls are right next to it, but be careful. There's something else in there. Something big. Sector Commander is on hyperlink. He wants to talk with you. I kill a million arachnids, recover an alien artifact, and this is all the thanks I get? Congratulations, you're a hero. Let's go. Just a minute. Do her thoughts affect your molecules at a quantum level? 
No, no, it's not like that. She treats me like scum. And are you scum? A long time ago, maybe. But not now. So she is wrong. You should tell her so. Unless you are authority. Marshall said she has a problem with authority. Mm. I'm right in the middle of something. Can we catch up later? I am very confusing. What are you confused about? All these corporations, mercenary forces, alien races. I am mixing them over. Can't tell the players without a program, eh? Okay, let me give you some quick background on each of them. As Earth expands in this sector of space, different corporations are establishing colonies on uninhabited planets. They do everything from creating vacation resorts to mining exotic ores to terraforming. We and the Terran Colonial Authority patrol between the planets to keep the peace. The corporations try to get away with a lot out here, and they hire mercenary forces to help them get their way. We often find ourselves fighting the mercs to defend civilians who work for their own corporation. If we run into something we can't take on alone, we call in the Marines. Axon is on our side. They're a private company who works hand in hand with our military to research and develop new weapons. The Leandri Corporation is a heavy industrial and mining combine with installations on dozens of planets. They defend their interests with an army of genetically engineered female warriors who have been raised since birth to be fighters. The Leandri Angels are cold, dispassionate, and highly efficient. They're among the elite of industrial mercenary forces. The Izanagi is a broad-based conglomerate modeled on the ancient Japanese Kuritsu. They're into whatever makes money, and they protect themselves with an elite core of Merc soldiers fanatically loyal to the corporation who call themselves Ghost Warriors. The Scar are a power-hungry race who have been trying to expand into this sector of space. Normally, their highly tribal social structure prevents them from working together. But recently, we've seen unusual examples of cooperation between the clans, which can only spell trouble for us. Their warriors are all highly independent, intelligent, and very dangerous fighters. The Azarians are borderline psychotic aliens who seem to live to fight. They had conquered a small area of space and subjugated a few minor races. Then they ran into the Scar and became slaves themselves. With their sadomasochistic tendencies, we're not at all sure they mind. The Kai are an old semi-nomadic race that has spread from planet to planet taking a keen interest in the archaeology, folklore, and traditions of each. They stay on the fringes of society, however, and make their way by performing menial tasks wherever they go. They are not a known aggressor race, and they're not indigenous to hell. We think they're just creatures who were imported from off-planet to the labs and then mutated under the influence of the energy beam and the artifact. I thought I fixed that. Damn, I thought I fixed that.
Do you want to activate the hyperlink with the sector commander? Fire it up. Go ahead and use this keyboard. Once you're hooked up, I'll wait by the door to give you the illusion of privacy. Good work recovering the artifact, John. Let me give you some history. A little over a year ago, our Axon Corporation discovered two of these artifacts and set up labs on Hell and Janus to study them. What do these things do? No one knows. We know they're virtually indestructible, and that they emit energy in a way we haven't begun to understand. How many of them are there? Seven. Buried on different planets for millions of years. Unfortunately, the Izanagi and Leandri Corporations caught on, and have started massive hunts on their own. How do the Scar fit in? They know we want them, so they want them too. So what comes next? You may yet get your wish, John. General Drexler is temporarily recommissioning your ship as a Marine Corvette. As of now, you and your crew are all temporarily restored to your former ranks. Will it be permanent? Perhaps. I've been brevetted to the Marines as well, and your orders will come through me. Afterwards, I'll go back to the TCA, but you might be in for good. I've already briefed Ida on your next destination. Good luck, John. And good hunting. Yes? What do you think is going on? I've dealt with Drexler before. He's a weasel. Don't trust him. You have to trust someone, Ida. That's how organization works. Otherwise, everything will just fall apart. Christ, would you listen to yourself? This is the military we're talking about. I'm telling you, it still comes down to people. Has anyone deciphered the glyphs on the artifacts? Don't know, but you can bet they're trying. I can't believe I'm back in. Don't get your hopes up. If they make this permanent, I'll eat a snipe. I don't want my old rank back, and Isaac doesn't deserve his. Drexler is just using you, John. Now what can you tell me about Asheron? Asheron is the strangest planet in the sector. It's a T-class world orbiting the star NC-867. What's interesting is that the surface of the planet is covered by a single gigantic organism that has breathing tubes the size of subway tunnels and spores as big as starships. The Izanagi Corporation has been methodically killing this creature as they terraform the planet. They've built a ring of giant chemical reactors to convert the atmosphere to Earth's standard oxygen-nitrogen levels, which the organism doesn't seem to tolerate. I've pulled some images from a marine scout probe. Days ago, all terraforming efforts stopped, and the Izanagi forces converged on a single dig site. We believe they have found an artifact and are about to take it off-world. We are cloaking in one day ahead of a marine attack force. Our mission is to gather intel only. Do not get close enough to be detected. Do not engage in combat. The station is guarded by Izanagi ghost warriors who have no love for us at all. Your dropship will land about here. You can take this road up to the facility, and from there, you'll be on your own. Be careful, John. I've asked Isaac to give you my pistol, Grace. She and I have been through a lot together, and I'd feel better knowing you have her down there to back you up. Isaac is ready for you, and Aban has some questions. If you haven't spoken with him yet, you can probably find him on the bridge. Good luck.
What were all those do nots again? Up yours, Dalton. Recon only. Why do the Izanagi mercs call themselves ghost warriors? It's the name of the fighting elite of the original Izanagi clan. What's the deal with this giant organism? Its origin is unknown. However, most of the planet's ecosystem is bound up with it in some way. Just as our bodies contain millions of microscopic bacteria, the organism is host to countless parasitic and symbiotic creatures. It has seas of mucus-like fluid which act as digestive tar pits, and which also collect and distribute solar energy. The spores surrounding the planet seem to be some kind of defensive reaction to the Izanagi's terraforming. Thanks. What's up, boss? What do you know about the Ghost Warriors? Well trained. Some live by the old samurai code. Others are just in it for the action. I just got off the blower with the sector commander. We all just got our military ranks back. See, I don't know, John. Last time I was in uniform, it didn't turn out so good. Just ask Ida. That was a long time ago, Isaac. You've changed. You'll do better this time. We'll see. So, you ready for some new weapons? Fire away. I'm tinkering with that arachnid biomass you found on Hell. I'm thinking I can make a weapon out of it. Anyway, I've added the flamethrower to your loadout, and I swapped with a buddy to get incendiary grenades for the launcher. Ida dropped off her magnum as well. I'm surprised she's willing to part with it. Take your pick. Let's take a look at Grace. Ida's had her forever. She's a really sweet weapon. 50 caliber explosive ammunition. Very accurate and very powerful. Alt fire is a three round burst that takes a little longer to reload. Use her for medium range targets when you're too far away for a shotgun, but too close for the sniper rifle. Anything else? How does the incendiary grenade work? Sprays burning phosphorus will set almost anything on fire. Make sure you don't get caught in the backflash. Run down the flamethrower for me. Its name pretty much says it all. The Vulcan uses canisters of napalm for ammo and shoots out a spray of flaming gas. Just point and shoot to incinerate a whole crowd of enemies in close quarters. Alt fire is a spray of unignited napalm that'll stick to any surface. You can set it off with primary fire or with one of your other weapons, but it's unstable enough that after a few seconds it'll probably ignite anyway. What'll it be? See you later. Let me get this straight. They're desperate to get this thing, so we're gonna blow it up? 
We're just gonna give it a nudge. Pry it loose. And they don't think the creature will mind? I guess we'll find out. Then let's get it over with. This place gives me the creeps. Weapons malfunction, sir. The uh, femorite uh, transducer blew, but we uh, cross patched it with the trilithium ionizer. Who is this? 
Who am I? Who are you? Unit and serial number, soldier, on the double! Intruder topside! Phoenix 2, move out!
The Izanagi are not at all happy with your incursion on Asheron. They are massing their forces on Severnaya. The fleet on Severnaya draws its power from energy generated by the Minkowski Dam. Pardoning me, but is not dam one of the forbidden words? Later, Naban. Go on, Ida. A squad of marines made a commando raid to blow the dam, but the mission went bad and they're stranded. We know there are at least two of them alive down there, and our orders are to recover them. Got it. I'm on the way. Use a good sprint. You head back to the dropship. The bond will ferry you up. My EMP grenades are in that cache right there. Take them. I think my buddy had a sniper rifle. Good luck. 